So just a very specific question, and feel free to answer it even briefly. So arguably, you both publish content, either as a journalist, as a diplomat, and arguably Facebook and Twitter are the two most important tools now in social media for publishing that content. So do you believe that um, younger generations, college students, or really anyone, wants to receive the information you're creating and publishing on these tools? And what kind of feedback do you get when you're publishing this kind of content on Facebook and Twitter? Well, um, relating to both your questions and to what David said, I'm not interested in pushing content for the sake of pushing content. Yes, Facebook is a tremendous tool, and Twitter is, you know, by the way, most of the traffic com comes from Facebook and Twitter, so you're right about that. Yeah, and um, and um, it made a breakthrough for, for all of us. But I'm interested in reaching specific people with specific message. I'm not speaking for Israel, and I'm not interested in people learning about, you know, relating to Israel through Israeli cinema, as, as David said. I'm speaking as an Israeli, and as an Israeli, I have my concerns and within the Israeli society, and I have my issues there. So I want people not just to relate to Israel, a very general notion. I want to have an impact. And the impact is changing, changing the political <coughs> attitudes of, of people here and within Israel. And I think, yes, Facebook is a tremendous tool for that. And Twitter is even more awesome because I'm being followed by people in Politico and the New York Times which is something that I could have spent 30 years on printed journalism and not have a single word read by, that I wrote read by anyone who's working on the Beltway. I'm pretty sure about that. But today, you know, two days ago, like Lara Ozen, who was covering international affairs for Politico, retweeted our, our story. So this is the kind of things I want to achieve. I want to have political impact here and, and, and I want to have political impact in Israel. And blogging is not just reporting. Blogging is engaged reporting. And in Israel, the society is not a monolith. We are engaged in Israel in an internal conflict, an internal battle. And I represent, I think, a side which is more and more frustrated by our government. And um, so I'm not ashamed to say that, yes, I'm using these tools to, 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 to push something, but a very targeted thing, not just for the sake of getting traffic to our site or getting, or getting a, a message through. You know, in, in our magazine, we can run stories mainly about cinema. And sometimes I tell the other writers, you know, you should write more, you should write about David Grossman's new novel and then have the politics at the end. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to. They don't think it's relevant. They don't want to make critical reviews. These are very critical times for, 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 for us as Israelis. So the fact that we're all suddenly, you know, when I started writing, I was the only Israeli-born blogger in English, the only Tzavo. All the other bloggers in English were Americans who moved to Israel. Now there are like five, six, seven, and another guy just started and joined us, you know. And these people are journalists, some of them. One works on the English edition on Aretz, one on the Yediot. These people, you know, they feel that this is urgent to push a message here. And Facebook is just a tool. Facebook can die tomorrow. And this is the thing about social network. We don't know what's going to happen. You know, everybody says that portals are going to die. That you're going to be left just with aggregator. So then what? But we 
don't know. But one thing is clear. If we have the technology and we're on the ground, we want to push our message. We want to use it in every way possible. And that's something that a lot of people don't, don't understand even now, the, the, the ability of the technology. And just before David...